Alrighty, hello there, and welcome back, everybody, to Grounded today. Um, I've done a decent amount of restocking some materials between episodes here. I'm just trying to make sure that we have everything we need to kind of make some smoothies, make a few uh, meals. I've actually done uh, a little bit of both uh, in the interim between episodes, uh, but I do need to stock back up on... Uh, some of our supplies. I, I you know what? Now. I actually could too, Wendell. Um, yeah, I just need to grab a couple of these things out of storage. Um, uh, well, at least the mint mace. What else? Ah, yes, the, uh, salt morning star. And I think that we'll leave our staff and spear here for now. Uh, oh no, but we're getting some payback from Larva. Um, I actually, like, I did a ton of damage to the red ants, um, of all factions, um, in, in while I was gathering resources, because actually red ant parts may end up being helpful for us. So, I'm surprised that it's Larva, of all things, coming for us. Here we go, I think I saw some right down here. Maybe? Yep, there it is! You are not allowed to attack my warehouse! More of you. I spy. Hey, back this way. Coming from on high. Uh, let's let's try to maybe grab a quick snack if this aphid will cooperate. Oh no, there's the larva. There's more this time. Ah, we got gold larva off of you all. Trapper peeper? I don't even know what that is, but cool. Um. Alright, anyone else? Anyone else want to have a go? Also, I have no idea why Wendell's down there. Wendell, you seeing any larva? Big ol' raisin head. Larva up here. Payback delivered? Okay, why? Why was payback delivered? I couldn't even find more larva to kill. I feel like the payback system lately has been faulty. Because they all seem to be coming for this stuff. And everything here is intact. We didn't see any over here by the forge, unless they were like real sneaky and got the back side of it over here by the ladybird. But it looks all good. Did they go hit like my zip line and I was just like too far away to know? Well, the zip line hut looks okay. Oh, all right, come on, buddy. Let's get this over with. Oh, okay, see, that's not cool when you can't decide if you're gonna make it up or not. Can you just get up here this time? Thank you. I'd rather have a nice flat arena on which we can fight. Mant, yes! Get him, buddy! Wait, I just got two mints! That's right, you mess with me, you mess with the mints! Alright, 
But yeah, okay, it doesn't look like anything got messed up over here either. I have no idea no water filtration why payback was supposedly delivered. If any of you guys have an explanation for that, please let me know. Because, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's at least two paybacks in a row now. Where I killed everything. And this time they didn't even break anything successfully. And it said that I lost. So, I'm confused about that. Uh, but let's check out that mutation. Um... It was some kind of a... Yeah, this one. Trapper Peeper. Uh, skills as a keen gatherer meld with your hunting prowess. Deep knowledge of the yard's creatures etched into your memory gives you a chance to perform critical hits. And I get yoked blows. So, is that for completing a certain number of gold cards? Because, like, look, we're doing pretty darn good on the gold card front. Honestly, that's probably more useful than the Mant, but that was that was so much fun having uh, two of those guys pop up in that same fight. Um, I think just the fun factor makes me want to keep him around for now. Um, but anyway, what was I doing other than checking the status of this? I think that was it for now. So let me go show you the rest of what I got done. Uh, for the most part, it was getting... The smoothie shack and the um, little, uh, oh, I can't quite climb up there. The little cookery, cookery cabin, cookery cafe, whatever you want to call it, uh, stocked up pretty nicely. Um, so for the smoothie shack, there's really only a few smoothies that I use regularly. And I actually labeled them up here. And in then each of these chests, I've started accumulating the ingredients for what I would need uh, to make each of those smoothies. Uh, so I've actually got like stocked in here, for example, what I would need to make the green machine. Um, and then in this chest down here, I have the different smoothie bases. And then in here, the completed smoothies. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Now I can just like hop in here. Go to my recipes tab and you can see I've got at least four of the different smoothies that I can just make right now um, as needed. And we're actually down to only five meaty fuzz on the rocks. Uh, so I think... Let's go ahead and get that replenished a good bit. And uh, I'll just have to keep making trips down to the pond in order to keep that filled up. Uh, here in our nice little cookery... I, I haven't decided if this is the cookery cabin or cookery cafe. I keep going back and forth. Um, here I haven't strictly decided how I want to organize the storage up here, but I have started bringing some things in. Uh, we don't know quite as many recipes yet for the cookery. Um, and not all of these are ones I find super helpful, like the termite delight. Uh, for just basically helping with busting and chopping. Uh, essentially, if we're just going to be doing a lot of building, I guess that would be helpful. Uh, but even so, we already, with our high tier tools, get that stuff done pretty quickly. Uh, so that's not like the biggest thing. Uh, same with like uh, nachos, nachos, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, helping with fall defense, not the biggest deal. Uh, but things like the Black Ox Burger... Uh, the Fungus Bacho, even like the Spider Slider, all of those are pretty helpful. And I've actually cooked up a decent number of the Fungus Bachos already because they just take the um, fungal growth plus uh, the mushroom and toadstool chunks. Um, and so we had plenty of those available. And uh, so we do have at least a decent number of uh, meals there in our fresh storage. So if we know we're going to go do something dangerous, um, uh, here I was staring at those, uh, that'll help with our attack stamina. Um, plus just having that well-fed and meal uh, bonus effects um, alone is pretty good. Uh, so that leads me to 
what we want to do today. Because as we left off at the end of last time, uh, there's a lot of fun stuff that we can be working on right now. Uh, we kind of, last time, uh, I think we kind of just took like a long path all the way around here. Um, and we're looking for pine cones. Um, and we found quite a few. Uh, but there was a lot of stuff going on. Uh, back here in the upper yard, a lot of area we haven't really explored. Uh, we at least peeped a number of new bugs, um, but didn't really deal with a lot of them, because I wanted to try to save that for a dedicated episode rather than just tacking it on to the very end of a build-heavy episode. Um, and we actually do still have a burgle chip up here. So I think what we might try to do today is we still really need to get a few more structures built around the base. So I think we're going to try to really, really quickly uh, build a very simple additional structure. Um, it's not even going to be a full-blown building. We're going to knock it out super fast. Um, and then we might dive in and see if we can head over to, I believe this is the stump um, that we just kind of like passed around the back side of last time. We're going to head over here and see if we can dive in and find this burgle chip. Uh, I think that that should be a fun adventure. And then if we still have time at the end of the episode, which I'm a little bit skeptical of, um, then we might take Wendell over to the oak tree. And uh, I'm very curious if he and Burgle will have anything to say to each other um, after their long time apart. Uh, so anyway... Um, to get to our quick build, basically we have um, the cookery, we have the smoothie shack, uh, but the only other kind of food thing that like could be helpful is uh, jerky racks, and we definitely need lots of jerky racks, not quite so much for actually making jerky, um, but what we really need it for is drying out um, the... Uh, the pupa hide into pupa leather. I think I got that right. Uh, da, 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 da. The yes, pupa hide into pupa leather. Uh, we're we're getting a lot of it right now, and we literally have a spawn of it uh, right here, uh, just below us, uh, right there. Um, so we we can readily get the stuff, but we don't currently have any jerky racks to dry it out and make it into pupa leather. So we're going to literally just make like a deck, um, I think right here and set up a bunch of drying racks on it. And it's going to be kind of just like, uh, again, if we're kind of going with our little like story of this region, um, it's meant for food and making food. And maybe that's what the cookery uses to make some of its recipes. Um, but in reality, it's probably going to be used to dry out uh, berry chunks and pupa hide uh, into making their respective types of leather. Um, so let's try and see if we can sleep through the night. Uh, not quite. Um, then let's bring some of the materials over and we can get started with that build proper first thing in the morning. Alrighty, well, I uh, went ahead and also chopped the grass right here out of this area. I can go ahead and pick up some of those extra little bits of plant fiber. And uh, I don't quite have the pallets built to be able to store all the grass, but that at least gets most of it out of the way. Uh, we could also get maybe this dried grass out of here. That may not be a bad idea. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start, um, I think, kind of like we did with our little cookery station and get some of these uh, scaffolds in place.
All right, so that's more or less going to be our deck. And then we could even kind of let people kind of come onto it right there. And then we'll fill this with a... Um, some kind of a surface material. Uh, do we want that to be grass or planks? Or do we even want to go crazy and make this burr? I think for decking, burr might not quite be right. But we might want to set it apart from the, um, uh, the existing place and not just do wood? Or stems, I guess I should say. So let's try grass. Alright, so here's that, like, 5x4 area all filled in. And now I want to figure out if and how we want to do any extra... Uh, it kind of changes to it other than obviously putting in our, um, our jerky racks. Uh, maybe to make that decision easier, we could go ahead and blueprint out the jerky racks. All right, so now the platform of this porch is done and we've got the blueprints of these printed out. Let's see if we can get all of these built first of all. Alright, so bombardier parts, not a problem. We just need a bunch more crude rope. Uh, let's see if I can make a bunch more and just get this all done. Looks like we just can. Okay. So, there's a bunch of jerky racks. That is pretty darn good. And we can end up just kind of spacing them out a little bit nicer. Something like that. That's not too bad. And then... I'm curious... Uh, maybe we could make like a... A small wall or something. Uh, ooh, I don't mind that actually. And we could even, one thing I was considering, what if we could even kind of wall off the, uh, the jerky racks so that they were like kind of blocked off from outside access more or less. Um, this may end up being a little goofy to work with because we're dealing with a one and a half wide area. But this is then a decent amount of space to work with. Um, and if we did that, maybe we could have like a little structure right here and that's who like is selling the jerky or something. Alright, I think that doing it on the half is going to be just a bit too tricky. So if we did that at two full blocks, this would be the access way to come get everything. I think that we'll just leave an opening like that. And then maybe up front. Hey, Fid. A grass door. And this one I am going to do one and a half, I think. This may end up being a lot of grass. Uh, we'll try to do a grass window if I can find it. Or a reinforced grass window. There it is. And then that can just be kind of like a little window opening. Uh oh, we've got company. Everything looks good from here. 
And I think that we're gonna not use stems for its barrier since we're doing that elsewhere. And I don't want these structures to all look too similar. Um, so we can do it there. I'm okay with it here, I think. And maybe I'm okay with it there. And unless it just doesn't work as a half wall. Alright, well, I ended up uh, redoing it quite a bit here. Um, so I think what we're going to end up going with is that we do have like a little counter where uh, we could give out orders. And then the manager of the little jerky area can come back here, hand them out. And uh, otherwise, then this is the little deck. We got some stairs to be able to get up on this side. And that is that. So I think I just need to go get the required materials. Uh, I think we're going to sneak just a little chest in here. And we're not going to like keep most of our uh, jerky stuff uh, in this place permanently. This is mostly just going to be where I can come stash things that we want to dry, but maybe the jerky racks are full. Um, and we'll just have this chest right in here. Um, to know, oh, I can come grab this, hang it up on all the racks, and then we are good. Uh, the other, the last kind of thing I was considering, uh, was if maybe we wanted to put, like, a little, uh, countertop here, and then this could almost be, like, a little, um, like, eating counter. Um... So, we could definitely do that. Alright, just one more finishing touch. I miscounted my spiky burrs, but there we go. We got our counter all the way down at some point. I might come back and put a couple of chairs here. Uh, just like we did with the table in there. And uh, I can drop off uh, some berry chunks. And then I'm going to throw this pupa hide. Uh, over on as many of these as I can. So there we go. Now this storage chest can have all of our extra stuff that we need to dry out. And then our little jerky patio is uh, pretty well complete. Um, I also probably come back at some point and add some lighting in here. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll even put some decorative paintings like up on the roof. That could be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, this will be a great way now that we can keep our production moving along here. Um, I think kind of the, the last really important one that I'd like to get going soon is, uh, getting some spinning wheels. Uh, for example, we have a lot of... Oh, oh, oh. Alright, got that ladybird off me. Um... For example, we have a lot of lint after our Undershed adventure, and we don't have any spinning wheels in order to get that into more lint rope. So we are down to one lint rope here in our supplies, uh, but we have all of this lint here waiting to be spun. Um, so that will be uh, good to get going here in the near future. But enough with all of that for today. Uh, let's go have a proper adventure. All right, so we don't know Supreme Plating yet, but there we go. We've got that all done, and then this ladybird outside is really unhappy, so we're gonna go deal with it. But I think we might we might finally change things up uh, and and go with this roly poly armor for our new trip out here. Give our antlion armor. A little break because we have been using that antlion armor for so long um all right otherwise everything's in decent shape uh okay good we do have a bit of repair glue let's repair our coltana and our mint mace 
and our torch. Everything else is in good enough shape. And we just did our axe. Oh, let's let's maybe do our shield here as well. And with that done, uh, I think now that we've got uh, our roly-poly armor on and upgraded, uh, axe upgraded, um, a couple other things repaired, our crossbow upgraded, I think we should be in pretty darn good shape. All right, so off we go. Gonna try to avoid some of these fights that are gonna be unnecessary. No need to beat up my armor or drag my stamina down. Ooh, I guess one thing. Let's go ahead and adjust our status effects real quick. Oh, like chopper? Not necessary. We're gonna be more likely to use barbarian. With all these things that take like a mint mace or a uh, salt morning star. And then for right now, we don't need really poison resist. Oh my gosh. So yoked blows could be good. All right, and then I think we'll also keep our uh, our new mant friend perk as well. So that seems like a decent combo. Uh, I don't think we really need anything here. Let's keep slowly moving along. Spicy busting, or, okay, so spicy. So we need to Coltana ticks. We saw these last time. We did not engage. Ooh, these guys are a little bit tough. Alright, we got Tick Fangs. That's new. I wonder if there's anything else new in here. This place looks super cool. This fungus stuff on this log is awesome. I take that sip of that. Nice yeah. Clean. I mean, I find it hard to believe there's nothing really here, but... Oh, what's going on down here? Oh, poor little weevil. Yeah, 
Yeah, this place is wild. Look at this area too. The like the upper yard is really something else. It's gonna Jump it down, Pete. Pop off our hunger and thirst with that honeydew, I think. We have discovered stump. All right, we got lots of ants around here. I wonder if the ants and ticks get along at all. Okay, so there's like lots of clay in here. I was noticing these big clumps of clay last time. those guys <laughs> tiger mosquito beak let's go all right there's like definitely ticks in here and I cannot see them at all Oh, hello. Thank you for making yourself visible. Get a mant. Good job, buddy. I feel like this lichen should be like an item I can pick up. Go, buddy, go. I'm falling. Oh. His, his little, like, despawn is so sad every time. It's so dramatic. That's a wolfie. There's another wolfie. And that's a hole. Look out for that tick. Which one, Pete? Which one? So I am going to just take a smoothie to be safe. 
Hey, there's milk molars around here. Where are you hiding them, Tix? Alright, so that definitely looks like lab. But that also looks like lab. We're just gonna kind of make a slow little lap around the inside of this place that still looks so cool. Let's make a base in here. With all the wolf spiders and ticks. Yeah, never mind. Talked myself out of that one pretty quick. <laughs> Alright, is that where we came in? I think so. Alright, so I think we've done a lap? Um, let's see what's in the water. Very shallow water. Am I getting closer to the milk molar? Definitely not. Okay. About in here... Yes. But not for long. Can I climb up this? Look, more mints. Oh, and then there's the ladder that I was pretty sure there's a milk muller in somewhere as well. The milk molar. Okay, I still can't figure out what the heck is. What is squeaking, man? Don't like it. I lost track of where the milk molar was, though. That's why we're coming back up here. Oh! There it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Dang it! Alright, well, there's nothing in this section of lab. That's disappointing. Guess I climbed back up to the milk molar. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and some more lab. This lab didn't do so well. Oh, hello. Tix, what are you doing in the water? You are not water creatures.
All right, well, let's get this one. And then, is there anything in this part of the lab? Not really, but we can grab this at least. Oh, and there's a field station. Nice. Got anything here for us, Wendell? The CCTV report? Alright, let's do some research here. Tiger mosquito mount and stuffed tiger mosquito. And same thing for the tick. All right. Um, all right. Uh, nope, that's not where I wanted. Data. Stuff. Places? No. Just dominant. Wendell. CCTV report. There we go. Last night, I was reviewing CCTV footage and noticed several cameras inside my lab below the old pine stump cutout. All that remained was the feed from the front door camera. Its lens fixed at the sky as hundreds of rotten wood splinters rained down upon it. To my dismay, the next morning I found that the that rotten tree trunk had collapsed under its own weight, crushing my lab to smithereens. These lab sets are falling apart left and right. I need to be more careful when I scout locations in the future. I can't spare to lose an important research station to Ominent's shoddy manufacturing practices. Until then, I'll have Burgle set up a feed from Pond Outpost Alpha, where I'll be conducting some research for a while and lock it with a kill switch for the door I can operate. There may be some unstable devices still knocking around in the dark down there. Hmm. Very interesting. So we may have some interesting robots to contend with here. Something I didn't meant. There we go. Alright, well here I can at least get this. 
now that the mosquitoes are done with me. And then hopefully I can track down that milk molar again. There it is. I did it! Oh, I thought that I had missed my shot. Aya! Excellent. It, there's still something squeaking up here. And I fell. So, it's a mystery for another time. And there's still a milk molar somewhere! Oh, sliver of health. Alright, well, we'll come back to that another time. For now... Let's see if we can get in here. Okay! Nope, we're getting a new dandelion first. There is some raw science up there. Ah, I think this is why I did battle with the mosquitoes a minute ago. There seems to be a milk molar up higher somewhere. Ooh, I can totally get there. Okay, hold up. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's right. It's right there. Uh some tricky milk molars in this stump and I like it and then there should be some raw science somewhere down below me And I'm hearing the squeaking again. Unless that's my torch. Well, let's go get the raw science. I'm holding raw science in my hands. What does it even mean? Okay.
Hmm, interesting. All right, well, I think... Wait. Thought I saw... Something milk molarish over here. Excellent. It's not what I thought I saw. I thought I saw one up here somewhere, but I'll still take it. Oh, perfect. And then here is our entrance to the lab. Oh, but I've already blown through our dandelion again. Drat! Um, all right, we're gonna, <laughs> let's go get yet another dandelion, and then this time we're actually going to go in the lab, I promise. All right, well, I've got a new dandelion equipped, and I brought a spare this time. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to eat that. And we're going to use that. We're going to drink Don't that. Need to boil it. And we're in pretty good shape. And... Here goes nothing. Oh, I missed that somehow? I tried to drop right on it. That's so sad. The structural integrity of this lab seems like it might be a little compromised. Um, that is a fair analysis, Mr. Pete. Um, uh, okay, I don't want to go down there if I can help it. So I want that science. I also want that science. Ooh, is that notes? No. Wait, yes? Haha! -ha. Mantis research note. Trial 12. Flower petals weevils. Snubbed. Active distaste for the dish. Trial 13. B. Wood. Some interest, but not enough to lure out into the open. Trial 14. B. Berry. No interest. Maybe a skewer of some kind would be enticing. Trial 15, wood, fire ant. Significantly more interest. Something worthy of the prowess of the mantis displays to seal the deal? Oh man, I think we're getting the, uh... Yeah, it's the orchid mantis recipe. A scientific breakthrough! Right, um, what else might be here? I don't think I can get up there? <clears throat> Ouch. Okay, can I go down in here? No, that is locked. So, the only way out is up. So, I've got to be able to get up there somehow. Wait, what's back here? Oh, there's a chest. I see it. Oh, that's clever. Hiding things in the ceiling. Uh, ooh, the other elf charm and some beefy human food. Yes. Okay. Uh, Aha. No. <laughs> 
What a sudden flurry of emotions. There we go. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right, we're rewarded with a milk molar, making sure I'm not overlooking something else. Boom. All right. Anything else there? want that, but I also feel like I need to get over to that. Okay. Um, hopefully I haven't missed my shot here. Oh, well, I could have easily. Ah, perfect. Well, can I do anything down here? Ooh, there's water. Oh, I think I have to come up this way anyway. And I don't know that I can make that jump. That's okay. I know that we can make this. Ouch, as I make a really bad jump. Okay. Alright, the more confident I get, the worse I do. So, no, we can't make this. It's a going terribly. Alright, well, that didn't help either. Gosh, dang it. I feel like I'm more likely to, like, overshoot, bump my head, and then fall off. And so I'm undershooting each time I make it over there. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Raw science. I got the science. And, oh. Wait, where do I go? Wait, did that unlock? Oh, I get it. I didn't need to go over there. We're trying to make it back out of this room. up there This should open. Yes. So then I can come in here. Ooh, moth fuzz. And some other goodies. Uh, does this go anywhere? No. And. Da -da -da -da. The burgled chip. Um. Alright, so there's that science. Does the, is there anything else down here? Just some water. Okay. Taking a look. Yeah. 
so much marble down here. Oh. That's not ominous at all. Okay. Dang it, we're gonna break this stuff and all of it's gonna fall down. Or not. Okay. This is some hardcore spelunking. I see the sky. That's where that little hole went. Cool. Well, that wasn't so bad. Well, all right then. Well, we now have like two reasons to go visit Burgle. So let's go get Wendell and uh, pay a visit to an old friend, shall we? I think that seems like a good way to wrap things up. All right, before our burgle trip, let's drop some stuff off. And all right, we'll be able to analyze the moth fuzz when we go. Let me sort this stuff out. And uh, we should have, yeah, we have a left elf charm. What is the right elf charm? Um, Invincible attack, invincible shielding. Um, ah, there's our new kebab. Oh, it takes brood mother chunks. Dang. Um, okay. Ah, Sarah's charm. So, oh, we need pond moss to make it together. Okay. Um, otherwise, uh, can we make some of these fancy weapons yet? Oh, I need more lint rope! No! And then, what else? Tiger Mosquito Rapier? We can make that one. So we're going to. And... I think that's basically all. We have that staff. We still don't have Fire Ant Mandibles. And we still don't have Pond Moss. So, that stuff is still gonna have to wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, let's go get Wendell and head on over to What's Mr. Burgle. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, I would like you to I follow me. No, I will show you the way. Oh, Burgle. I found a friend. Coming, Wendell? Come on, Wendell. Don't be shy. Oh, gosh. I just got stuck on the door. 
What's are on you, your mind? Are you nervous? Can we talk what about you? Um, I want to know about you and Burgle. Right. Why'd you do all this, though? Hubert, eventually, I could not turn back. No matter what it cost. Look on my yard work, ye mighty and despair. Um. All right, never mind. We're good. Um, come see Burgle. Come on, buddy. No, don't, don't run into the ceiling. Come on. Come on. Burgle, turn around! I brought you a friend! Dr. Tully? Is that you? It is, Burgle! Oh, happy day! You have returned! Oh, Burgle! My trusty assistant! You mean science manager! I mean in your absence! Of course. Oh, fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm here to help. And get our guest home safely. Please feel free to continue doing whatever it is you've been doing here in my absence. Cooking, flipping, and go grilling! <laughs> At least you haven't burned down the place yet. Do as you will. Order received, Dr. Tully. And may I add that it is my pleasure to continue to serve you. Aww. It is nice to see a friendly face around here. How can I help you today? I found a chip! Ah, more chips! Oh, that's some nice science right there. Hand it over and let us see what... Mm, much better. Check the... Right, I have some questions device. for you. Um... Tell me about the Which other labs? Would you like to discuss? Never mind. We're we're good. Today? We're good. Goodbye, Virgil. Well, I brought you a friend. Hey, Wendell. Uh, you're What's gonna. Your no, you're Perhaps gonna stay here. Nope, you're gonna stay here with Virgil because he is extremely lonely. All right, but let's see what we can do. Uh, we've got 20,000 science. Oh, gosh. And we've got things. Um, advanced smithing Mighty Jewel. Mighty Jewel is a fusion of supreme whetstones and twinkling shells to further unlock the special properties of equipment with supreme plating and supreme whetstone recipes so we don't need... To always find the, uh... Uh, oh, no, 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 we do have to find the rocks. But that's okay. We want that. Advanced smithing flavored jewels. Uh, that way we can have the advanced, uh, elemental type. Yes, please. Uh, we can make sturdy stuff without the rocks. Probably should do that. Um, advanced building ash cement. So we can make charcoal ash out of charcoal. And then make it into a building material. Yes, please. Okay, and then we've got new signs also from the stump. I like the milk molar, and the weapon one is cool. Uh, but what else are we missing? The case of Deantion may not be a bad one to get. Oh, ha! Huh. That's interesting. You don't have to patronize me, Wendell. Um, I don't really care about the splat burst. 
Um, have to keep everything nice and clean. I know, especially now the F Company burgle. Uh, what is that? Maybe that's tadpole I'll jerky. Uh, so that is just for swimming things. That's not all that great. A pollen turret. I just don't have that much pollen. We could get... A new... Mutation. I think I actually will finally get that. And then we've got 8,500 to go. Maybe we'll get a... Sign set if we can find one that we like. The creatures one is kind of fun. The food and stuff could actually be helpful for decorating. I think I'm gonna get that one. And then do we want any, uh, do we want the waft emitter? I mean, we still have the, uh... I was just talking about it. The mixers to do, so maybe we don't need the waft emitter. Larvania honestly wouldn't be bad. Let's get that as our last thing. A little bit more of a cookbook. Um, okay. Burgle quests. Um, craft a repair tool. That's always helpful to have. And kill fireflies. Uh, that could actually be good as well. So let's add that to our quests. And then milk molars. Uh, up our health. Up our stamina. Help our hunger thirst strain. Or help our healing. Uh, based on using this armor set, I actually feel like helping our stamina could be good. The core. And then... Do we... I think we save on our megas for now. For resource size. Because that's gonna affect, like, our chests and everything else like that. And I think that'll be the most helpful. Uh, arrows again, I feel like it's kind of the least helpful. Um, so I think we're gonna save these four till we get one more, and then maybe hit up resource size. And I think that should be pretty darn good. Uh, Wendell, where are you? Wait, where did, where did he actually go? Wendell? What would Dr. Tipitone do? Well, where did he even go, Burgle? Wait, is he over here? Ah, he's hiding! Wendell, don't hide from Burgle. You you be nice to him, alright? We'll come and get you when we're ready to uh, check out your coffee pot thing, alright? Burgle, you take care of your guest. Alright, well... I think that will probably do it. Oh, I'm so excited to check out that charcoal stuff. Um, that I'm curious if that will be something we can like add to our current forge as far as uh, how we make it. But we will see. Um... However, I think that that is us done for today. That knocks out the last of the chips on the map, I do believe. Uh, we have got them all taken care of. So basically now, I think our only direction is kind of that big exclamation point right there. Uh, we're just heading on over to the Javamatic machine. And we have we've taken a brief look at it before. Um, but now we know that, uh, Wendell wants us to head on over there, um, and, uh, take a look as far as helping to mix up the embiggening cocktail. Um, so, I'm not sure that we'll do that next episode, um, 
but we will definitely be uh, heading that way soon. Um, otherwise, there's definitely still a little bit more area to explore here in the upper yard. Um, and uh, there are plenty... Excuse me. And there are plenty of building projects that I would still love to do uh, here at our base. Um, plenty of necessary stuff uh, just to kind of keep this uh, a fully self-sustained uh, base. And then once we have that all under control, then uh, it'll be fun just to do some good creative builds. Um, with, uh, that are helped along by all of our, um, other places, like our forge, having food to eat here with all of our, uh, nice little food stations. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking how all of this is coming together. And now we can actually even swap our, uh, smoothie painting out, uh, for maybe something, uh, possibly a little bit more appropriate? Um, although, you know what? I kind of like, I kind of like the, the newspaper ad, and then maybe we'll put a, uh, a hot dog one somewhere over here on the cookery. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to do it for today. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, uh, please be sure to... Uh, leave a like, it helps me to get the videos discovered by others, and um, helps just let YouTube's algorithm know that uh, you all are enjoying the series. Um, be sure that you guys are subscribed so that you are notified when the next episode drops, and I will see you all very soon with some more Grounded. See ya!